So in this video, we are going to learn how to add new leads from Facebook lead ads to MySQL database. Now suppose guys, you are a business owner who is running Facebook business ads, Facebook lead ads to market your business and you want to add those leads which you are generating into your MySQL database. So this automation is going to help you a lot. So using this automation, whenever a new lead will be generated in Facebook lead ads, automatically that newly generated lead details will be added as a new row in MySQL database. Now, if you want to know how you can set up this automation, for that, you just have to come with me to my screen. So as you can see, here we are on Public Connect's dashboard. Now to reach this dashboard, you will get a free sign up link of Public Connect in the description box below. By clicking on that link, you can create your free Public Connect account in just two minutes. And after reaching to this dashboard, just click on create workflow and give this workflow a name. For example, I would like to name my workflow as Facebook lead ads to my SQL and then just click on create. Now you can see that a workflow is created over here. And in this workflow, we have two different windows. First one is the trigger window and second one is the action window. So triggers and actions are basically those two concepts, those two principles on which this whole automation works on, where the trigger says when this happens and the action says do this. So let's begin with the trigger window. Now the idea here is first, we have to connect our Facebook lead ads account with public connect so that every time a new lead is generated on our Facebook lead ads, automatically the details of that newly generated lead will be captured inside public connect and this automation workflow will trigger, it will start. And after that, using public connect, we are going to add those new lead details to our MySQL database in the next step. So let's see how it is done. So here in trigger window in choose app, search for Facebook lead ads. Just select it and then in trigger event from the drop down, select the trigger event as new lead instant. Click on connect and select add new connection. Now here guys, we have to connect our Facebook lead ads account with public connect. And to make this connection, click on this connect with Facebook lead ads button. And because I have already logged into my Facebook account in my browser, public connect has detected the same account and made the connection. After making the connection, the first thing it asks us is the page. And here in this drop down, you can see a list of all the pages which I have created in my Facebook account. So here in my Facebook account, you will see a list of different pages which I have created. Out of all of these pages, the page on which we are going to work today is named as Public Tech. So for this particular Facebook page, I have created a Facebook lead ad campaign. And all the leads which are generated from that campaign, I want to capture those leads inside Public Connect. So from the drop down, you have to select the Facebook page on which you are running your Facebook lead ads. Just select it in the trigger. And after selecting our Facebook page, it is asking us lead gen form. So it is most likely possible that into a single Facebook page, you might have created multiple Facebook lead ad forms. So out of all of these forms, using which form you want to basically get the lead, capture the leads inside public connect. So here guys, you will see in this particular Facebook page, I have few trial form, few test forms over here. Out of which there is a form named as Pavli. So I'm going to select this particular form named as Pavli over here. After selecting your lead generation form, just click on save and send test request. Now after clicking on save and send test request, here you will see that it has changed to waiting for webhook response. This means Pavli Connect is waiting to get some details, some response of a new lead from Facebook lead ads. And now what we have to do, we have to generate a test lead. Now to generate a test lead, we are going to use the Facebook lead ad testing tool over here, the official testing tool of Facebook to generate some test leads and test your automations over here. So here guys, we have a dedicated video live on the channel that how you can reach on this Facebook lead ad testing tool and how you can use it to test your Facebook lead ad form. After reaching to this testing tool, here in the page section, select your Facebook page and in form section from the drop down, select the form using which you want to generate the test lead. Here in Pavli Connect, we have selected Pavli as a lead gen form. So in the testing tool as well, I have selected Pavli over here. After this, just click on this preview form button and the lead ad form which we have created for this Facebook page for this Facebook ad is open in front of us. So this is a lead generation form. Now let's enter the details of a demo user over here in this lead generation form, details of a test lead. So this is the name, this is the email address, and this is the mobile number. Now after entering these details, just click on next and click on submit. 
So just now using the Facebook lead ad testing tool, we have generated a test lead on our Facebook lead ad form, lead generation form. And because we have connected our Facebook account and our Facebook lead generation form with Pabli Connect, here in Pabli Connect, we will see that the details of this same newly generated lead will be captured over here. So here in our trigger window, you can see we have received some response. And in this response, you can see the same first name, same last name, same email, as well as the same mobile number. So these are the details of the exact same lead which we have generated just now using the Facebook lead ad testing tool. This means the step one of setting up this automation is completed. We have successfully connected our Facebook lead ad testing tool with Public Connect and received the details of a new lead over here. Now let's move to step two. And in step two, we want to send those new lead details to our MySQL database. And to do this, just scroll down, come to our action window, and here in Choose app, search for MySQL. Just select it. After selecting MySQL, an action event from the dropdown, select the action event as Insert Row. Then just click on Connect and select Add New Connection. Now here guys, we have to connect our MySQL account, our MySQL database with Pabli Connect. And to make this connection, we have to enter the username and password of our MySQL database. Also, we have to enter the host, the database ID, and also the port of our MySQL database. So if you already have a MySQL database, you must be having the username, password, host, database, and port over here. You just have to enter all of these details over here and click on save to connect your MySQL database with Pabli Connect. Right now, I'm going to select the existing connection and then just click on same. I'm going to select the old connection of my MySQL database with Pabli Connect. But you can just enter these details and click on save to connect your MySQL account with Pabli Connect. After making this connection, it is asking us for the table name. So in MySQL database, here you can see that I have created two different tables. First one is Facebook lead and second one is LinkedIn lead. So here in this dropdown, we have to select that in which particular table we want to insert this row. We want to add this new lead details. So obviously, I want to add the Facebook leads data into this table named as Facebook leads. So here guys, I have opened this table and here from the dropdown, we are going to select the same table as well. Then it is asking us for the ID, that what is the unique ID of this particular data, particular row, which we are going to enter. So the field of ID, we are going to keep it blank. We are going to ignore this field for now, because when we are going to add these details into our MySQL database, it will automatically generate the ID, the row number over there. So we are just ignoring this field for now. And then it is asking us name, email, and mobile number. So these are the details of a new Facebook lead, which I have received from Facebook lead ads in trigger window. We have this name, we have the email, and we have this mobile number. And we have to actually send this same data, map this same data, which we have received from Facebook lead ads of a new lead over here in the respective fields. And guys, the process of mapping is very simple. Here we have the field of name. And here to map this data, to map the name from our trigger responses to our action step, what we have to do, we just have to click on this field. And in the drop down, here you can see a list of all the responses which we have received from Facebook lead ad of a new lead. From these responses, select the response of post name and it will be mapped. Then just add a space and then from the drop down, map the response of last name. In this way, whatever lead's name we are going to receive from Facebook lead ad, the same name will be added in MySQL database. Follow the same process of mapping for email and mobile number as well. From the drop down, map the email over here, and then from the drop down, map the mobile number over here. And after mapping all of these details, just click on save and send test request. After clicking on save and send test request, here you can see that we have received some response. And this response seems to be a positive response to us. This response shows that the data which we have mapped over here, basically the details of a new lead which we have received from Facebook lead ads is been added in as a new row in our MySQL database. So let's check it. We will go to a MySQL database and we'll just refresh this database, this tables page once. And yes, guys, here you can see that demo user, the same lead whose details we have just now added into the Facebook lead ad testing tool while generating a test lead. The same lead's detail has been added as a new row in our MySQL database. Here we have the same name, same email, and the same mobile number. Also here you can see that we kept the field of ID blank and it has automatically detected the ID over here. This means the automation workflow which we have created in this video is working perfectly fine. 
and using this automation, whenever a new lead is going to get generated using Facebook lead ads, automatically the details of that lead will be added as a new row in our MySQL database. Now here guys, after setting up this automation, let's test this automation workflow once in real time. We will get back to our Facebook lead ad testing tool and we are going to generate a new lead, another test lead over here. And we are going to test the automation. But using Facebook lead ad testing tool, it is saying your test lead has been sent to create a new lead, please delete this one. So here it says that at one time we can only generate one test lead. So here per form we can generate only one test lead. So the test lead which we have generated just now, we have to delete that lead. Click on this delete lead button and that previous test lead will be deleted. It has been deleted. Now let's create a new lead over here. Click on this preview form button and then let's enter the details. For example, I'll enter the name as test user test at the rate. This is the email address. And click on submit. So just now a new lead has been added in a Facebook lead ad testing tool. We have just now generated a new lead and we will see as this lead is generated instantly, automatically, the same leads detail will be added in our MySQL table, our MySQL database. So let's check it. We'll go to MySQL. We'll just refresh this table once. And yes, here you can see that instantly the same lead test user has been added as a new row. Their details has been added as a new row in our MySQL database. Here you can see the same name, same email and the same mobile number. This means the automation workflow which we have created in this video using Public Connect is working perfectly fine. And using this automation, whenever a new lead is going to get generated in Facebook lead ads, automatically the details of that lead will be added in our MySQL database. So not just these applications, you can connect plenty of other applications using Public Connect. And one more important thing. You will find the clone link of this exact same workflow in the description box below. By clicking on that link, you can clone this exact same workflow into your own Public Connect account and use this automation workflow for free. Also, let me tell you, Public Connect offers you a free plan. And in this plan, you will get some free tasks every month into your own Public Connect account. So if you want to try and test this automation, you can do it for absolutely free. If you have any kind of doubts or queries, you can post them on forum.pavli.com. So if this video was helpful to you, you can obviously like this video, comment down to your suggestion and don't forget to share it with others. So guys, that's it for today's video. Thank you. Have a great day.